Hey guys, welcome to the Beach House. Today we kind of got a fun little homeschool project that the boys have been working on. And they've been working on this all summer long. They actually started on this like way back in, uh, in March. Um, and so they're gonna kind of share with you guys a little bit about the stuff that they've been learning. And uh, it all has to do with business and money management and selling. And uh, I'm really excited for you guys to be able to learn what they've been learning. They've been having a ton of fun with it, and I think that, uh, that this is going to be something that really shapes their perspective for the rest of their life. So, they're ready to share with you guys. Let's go ahead and see what they have to say. Okay guys, tell me the story of how this all got started. So, for a long time ago, me and Corbin were like watching you and everybody like get chickens and starting to get animals and we like felt intrigued and like, this is really cool, we should probably do something like this. And, like, after that and we were like taking care of the animals and now that, and after that we knew how to take care of them, we were, and we were like, yay, and then we were like, hey dad, we want to start a business. And then he was like, okay. And we had bunnies and chickens. And we were just getting started. So, and then we were collecting eggs and all, and we were getting ready to do things. And then dad was like, say a prayer on what animals you want to get to be able to see which ones you want to do. And, and, then, and then we got chickens because we felt that was right. And I also have two other businesses that I'm working on, but that doesn't matter right now, so we're gonna be talking about our chickens and the money we've been making. So, um, we, my dad had got 10 before Bingtons and he, that he, were all girls, and he, then we bought them from him. And since then, we've been just getting eggs from them and selling them. So where did and you guys get the money to buy the chickens? We, before that, we had money from working and from doing YouTube videos. And doing homeschool and, yeah. Birthdays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah birthdays. And, and tooth fair stuff. <laughs> yeah. So we've been collecting money and we were like, what should we do with this money? And dad was like, invest in it. And then we were like, okay. So then we got in, got started with and, all of this. And then that's when it all happened. After that, we were like, my aunt, my dad got an incubator, and the whole family got an incubator, and we were watching them. And the, we hatched out chickens that were Bardrocks. And then we were like, whoa, we should do this too. So then we got the idea of being able to have chickens from selling the eggs and brand new chicks. So And now that's how it all started. And, and then, then for a long time we've been waiting and waiting for us to be able to get eggs and we finally have started and before that while we were raising them actually one of them just died we don't know why or how one day i went down there to go take care of them and then i saw that one of them at the time they were like laying down weirdly because it was so hot so i went down there and i'm like that one looks like it's sleeping. And then I was doing it and it didn't move at all. And normally they would like move and like twitch and stuff, but it didn't do it at all. So I'm like, hmm. So then I poked it with a stick and then it felt it, like didn't move at all. And then I like did it again and like flipped it over and it was completely stale. And I started crying, running into the house saying, Dad, one of the Buff Warmingtons died. And we would have had 11 if that one didn't die, but we have 10 right now still. 10 laying. Because we got them split. In our chicken coop that we've been putting them in, and they're in, we let them out in the nighttime because we have a garden. We don't want them getting into there, and then 
the night time they're not able to go in there because they can't see. Corbin feeds all of the animals every day and I do all the waters and lately has, he hasn't really been doing that because he's like, it's good enough, it's good enough. So then he got in trouble because he didn't do it. We, we share to. our money because we didn't yeah. have enough I didn't have enough to start a business, and he didn't, so we combined it and barely had enough to be able to just get started, and for us to be able to last until we could actually start making money. And now that you've got eggs, how are you guys making money yet? So, yeah, we've been making a lot of money now, and, and, and we're finally to the age where we can incubate them. Yesterday we got $11.50 from and selling them around the neighborhood. I told the boys, this is gonna be your business account. So Corbin, I think this was you that wrote business account on here. Yeah. And it's got a J and a C for James and Corbin. And this is where all the money has gone that you guys have made from selling eggs. Do you guys know how many dozen eggs you guys have sold so far? Probably around like 20 or something. And yesterday we sold like a lot. <laughs> Yeah, we sold we like sold three dozens. And, and one, one was a, one of them was 18, 18, and then the other were two dead. So now this is the part that I'm really excited about for you guys to get to see. So they told you the story of how they got started, and now they've started selling these eggs, and they're starting to make some good money to where I'm pretty sure that you guys have probably made, at this point, already probably more than you spent. Would you say so? How much money do you guys think you have right there? I like $80 or maybe even 100 I had like $80 before we even started. But I so I used some of it on candy for a little bit. Uh -huh. I only used like $4 for it and then I had 79 or something. I had like 83 And then he had like somebody stealing his money up to the point where it was $40. So I told them, okay, all the money that you make from selling eggs has to go into the business account. And then I told them, once the business account has over $100, then every time you have to buy chicken feed, or if you wanna buy anything else that's like part of the business, pull that out of the business account. And then after you have over 100, if you guys want to pay yourselves to go buy like a toy or something, then you can pay yourselves from the business account. But always make sure you leave a lot in the business account so that you still have money to be able to operate the business so that the chickens don't starve because you ran out of all your money because you bought toys and now you can't buy their chicken feed anymore, right? Does that yeah, make sense? So we only take part of it out. Only and little bits. We haven't taken any of it out yet. Right. And I actually really want to count it because I don't You should count it. it. Yeah. Let's see how much you guys have saved so far. So 10, 20, Twenty-two. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Thirty dollars. Thirty-one. Actually. Forty-four. Forty-four dollars. Hey, that's so you haven't quite made all your money back, but you're getting really close. Yeah. They were actually, we raised the price a little bit to five dollars a dozen, and the last time it was like three dollars. $3.25 a dozen. Okay. So, what they've done in the neighborhood is actually really cool. So they've got this cool little report. I'm gonna show it to you guys, so you guys kinda see how it works. And I'm gonna explain this, and then I'm gonna have them show you guys the cool business cards that they made and the sign that they made. Here's a little worksheet. It's got a spot for people's, for their names, people's addresses and phone numbers. And then they ask these questions. Do you have chickens? Yes or no? Do you want chicks? Yes or no? Do they want eggs? Do you want eggs? Yes or no? How often do you want eggs? So these guys are like, yes, we want eggs. So these guys are like, yes, we want eggs, and we want them every two weeks. And so they sold them 18 eggs, and they made $5, because this part says, how much money did you make? So this way, they've got it all set up so that they can have a list of people to where literally the eggs are already sold before the chickens even have them. So they are like, okay, we got two dozen eggs today, and these people want eggs, and these people want eggs. And so it's, it's like they've already done that work. We have like four dozen eggs right now. And maybe we more. even have some in the chicken coop, and maybe we'll show you how, um, how much eggs we have in the chicken coop today. And that's right, and now that the chickens are a little bit older, we can start to incubate the eggs so and that we can get chicks to sell. So there's something I really wanna say. So yesterday, or I think the day before that, I got like, a dozen eggs in one compartment. I was like, 
this is awesome because because I hadn't been getting the eggs from that one for a couple days because it kept sitting in it and I couldn't move it so that time it wasn't sitting in it and I saw like a dozen eggs and I was like I gotta get this That's and, right. then, and then I got it and there was like 16 eggs overall but one cracked. So, so I had 13. So there's 13. 10 hens in the coop and one rooster. So hopefully these eggs are fertilized, they should be. We're gonna try incubating probably a couple of dozen and let's see if they make little baby chicks that they can sell. Yeah. But I wanna see the sign that you guys made and your business cards. This is our sign. We drew this yesterday. And Corbin, like, we were drawing it and it was really cool. And it's Beach Boys, Eggs and Chicks. Cool, and now and then let me see the business card that you guys made. Our business cards. So it says on the business card, Beach Boys, Eggs and Chicks, call or text, and it's got our phone number, and then it's got a picture of the boys. So that you guys, are you guys leaving this with everybody? Yeah. So hopefully if they ever want chicks or eggs, They'll call they, can call. they can call you guys. Okay, so today the adventure is we're gonna go around and try to finish selling some more eggs. Plus, we're gonna get the incubator set up and get some eggs in the incubator. So hopefully in 30 days from now, we have new chicks. Are you guys excited? Yeah! Okay, let's go do it. So we're starting incubating today. Yeah. So, okay. So we are outside and we are going to get the chick, the eggs. Here's our chicken coop. There's a hen laying in the spot where all the eggs are. It's gonna peck you. It's gonna peck you. Only three eggs. It's been getting kind of colder, so that would make sense why there's barely any. Put it in my shirt. Ooh, there's a really warm one. They're all really warm. Put it in my shirt. So, we are here now. And yeah. I was like, wow, ow. So here's how the feeder works. So Corbin comes in here every single day and comes and pours chicken feed all over in this food compartment. And it's really cool because it was awesome. And it comes out in there. Yeah, it literally comes out in there. And then they have a light in here for winter. They have a tiny comb or a tiny blue above that they can stick. Yeah. So the water is really cool because it's kind of dirty right now, but it can like be filtered through as they drink it because when it gets to a certain point, it, it will grow up again. So it will always be full. There's a little thing that they can hop onto and climb up and go up there. And to there's roost. also a thing they can go down over there. Yeah. Let's show them that. So see this? So if you turn this, it will go up go or through. down. It's really and cool. And if you lift this up and then do it, it goes back down. So, and then this is a really cool gate. We should have them out right here. Yeah, yeah we shouldn't right because they go down to the garden down there. So with this chicken coop over here, it's really cool. They have an area to just walk around everywhere. These ones are ours but they're, they're my parents' and they're theirs. So this feeder is really cool because Ryan built it. We have the same water feeder over there, just like over there, but this one is cool because you can open this, go out there and get the other containers and fill it in, fill it up, and they can stick their heads through there and get the feed that's in there. It's really cool. And then they have this place to roost and everything. Yeah, they just jump up here, and then they go in there, and there's there's wooden, or there's Things. metal grating right there, so they don't yeah. get out. Yeah, up there. <laughs> so that's this chicken coop, and this rooster over here is the really mean rooster. It like almost killed one of our chickens. It almost did. It like ripped out a muscle, so we had to do an act of kindness. And that's our rooster right there. He's a shy little guy. But every other one's our hens. And there's these chicks that we hatched out. It's our second batch. So there's their water, and then their food is over there. 
tipped over. So that's good that that's there. And then they also have this cord and it puts a light up there so in the nighttime they can huddle in there and sleep without getting cold. That's it. And do you want to see the chicks that we have? They're kind of running around right now, but it's fine. So right here. See that? Those are the ones that eat the food down there. Yeah. So dad's here and he got it. He is trying to figure things out. So I just have to set the temperature to um, just below 38 uh, degrees, 38 degrees Celsius, which is almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we want to have the humidity at, I'm looking that up right now. It says 40 to 50% humidity. So we need to lower the humidity a little bit. Yeah. So that's how we're doing things. Okay, then once we get that set, then all we gotta do is come in here and we take the eggs. Well, actually, before we put the eggs in there, yeah, let's, let's get a pencil and let's put the date on the eggs so that we can remember when these were put Roll in. Roll a marker. Okay, now the eggs are in there. The date's marked on the, each egg. And these little trays will rock back and forth like this. It'll heat it all up and it'll like be good. And every like, week and so or so you have to like turn it 90 degrees every day every day yeah. <laughs> so james you've been working on some logos yeah this is the logo that i made and since it's our beach beach themed for beach boys um we have a chicken and eggs in a palm tree and like a sunset and then sand in the ocean and i'm going to put the picture of us when we, t for our cards, like on here, and then beach boys, eggs and chicks, like this on it. I was thinking it'd be cool to make one an egg and one a beach ball and one like a kind of a wave thing, kind oh, of. Okay. And there's three people, which I thought there we should just be two, but I was like, there needs to be more details. So I did another person's, and that's one of them. I also did this is a volleyball hoop, and this is a beach ball, and this is sand. I was trying to hit it. Okay. And I Isn't this the first one that you had the idea of, with yeah. the palm tree and the chick and the eggs on yeah. the island? So you guys have been working on logos a lot today, and huh? And I actually liked I was thinking Gordon's idea of like on an island with palm trees and eggs and chicks. So I like just made more design and detail in like, but like not on an island in the middle of the ocean, just like at the beach. Cool. With the sunset. And, and Good I job, made guys. this one, Beach Boys, Eggs and Chick, and let's start surfing on the waves. Okay, boys, now where are we gonna go? What We're are we gonna? We're gonna go selling eggs around the neighborhood. Okay. And they need some hoodies because it is kind of chilly. Okay. Because we're gonna be out there for a while. All right. So, yeah. Let's go. You ready to go? Soon. We'll be back soon. See ya. You like riding this heavy machine to be not made. I do. Like, are you ever nervous when the kids go to the door? A little bit. I yesterday I had Matt or Charlie with me, and he was talking so much, and I was like, "Be quiet! I want to hear what they're saying." <laughs> <laughs> it does make me a little bit nerve wracking. <laughs> but you know what? I did this exact same thing when I was a kid, and I actually think it gives you a lot of like social skills to try and sell people stuff. <laughs> I used to sell CDs. <laughs> for my dad's work. Okay, 
Good Good job, guys. Good How job. many eggs did you sell today? We did two, two dozen. dozen. You sold two dozen eggs, huh? And we got ten dollars. got ten dollars. <laughs> Good job. Ten dollars. <laughs> Good work. Also, I just really love getting to know my neighbors. I really do. I, there hasn't been very many houses that we've lived in recently that we've taken the time to like go around and get to know people. And I'm so proud of these guys. They handled it beautifully, especially when she didn't have change and we forgot to bring change. That's something we need to do next time, right? Yeah. But um, when you didn't have change, that was a really good way of handling it and just saying, no, you can just have double the eggs. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, that, that was, was actually great. the right price. Yeah. For two, there was a pack of two dozen mm -hmm. for $10 and she gave us $10 for a <laughs> Like, yeah, and then we were like, Not here, yet. you can have this. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Corbin. You rock. Thank you, Sophia, for your letter and picture. It looks really cool.